Hello and welcome to another video. The most popular phrase that politicians use is raise the taxes on the rich. You always hear them talking about how they will increase the tax on the rich people and use that money to help the poor once they get elected to the office, of course. As normal as that might sound, it's almost impossible to do that. No matter who will be elected, taxes would never be raised on the rich people. And that's not only because rich people have significant influence on the politics, but rather because it just doesn't make sense economically. You might be there watching this video and thinking, what are you talking about? If the government will increase the tax on the rich people, the government will have more money and they will be able to do more things, build more bridges, schools, hospitals, and so on. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work that way. And that's all because of capitalism. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying capitalism is bad. In fact, it might be one of the greatest things ever happened to us. Otherwise, we would not have iPhones, Facebook, Netflix, and a lot of other cool stuff. And some people simply know how capitalism works, so they take advantage out of it and get richer and pay less taxes, while the majority have no idea how the system works, so they stay poor or average. And in this video, we'll see exactly how and why rich people pay lower taxes than the rest of us. So if you're not subscribed yet, then hit the subscribe button and the bell besides it, and enjoy the video. Let's first understand how the economy works in the first place. For the sake of making it easy to understand, let's assume that there is a new country and you are the president of this country. First of all, congratulations for being elected to the office. And secondly, how are you going to feed your people, provide them with houses, cars and everything else? Since you are the president, you have to take the responsibility. Well, you have two options. The first one is manage everything yourself. You build up factories, offices, and employ the entire nation, and together you create schools, hospitals, and everything else. And that's known as socialism. But that's a bad option because it's not easy to employ the entire nation. You're not going to be effective or efficient or innovative, and you probably will end up like North Korea. In fact, pure socialism was never successful. And most importantly, you will not have things such as Facebook, Netflix, iPhones, maybe even the internet. So I don't think your people will support you with that option. But you're a smart and wise president, and you come up with a better solution, which is your second option. Instead of doing everything yourself, why not let the ones who are brave and smart enough amongst your people to build up businesses and employ everyone else? So just make it easy to start up a business in your country, and then tax these businesses and the people who work there and use that money to build bridges, schools, tanks to protect your country. Doesn't that sound like a good plan? Yes, it is. Congratulations for coming up with such a good plan. Just to let you know, that's exactly what capitalism is. But how many people will start a business? 1 or 2% of the entire country and the rest will work for them. And of course, they are the ones who are going to make most of the money. And that's why few people are rich and most people are poor or somewhere around that because that's how the system works. So as the president of the nation, it seems wise to you to increase the tax on the ones who make most of the money, right? Wrong. Because if you increase taxes on them, they will simply close down the business and move somewhere else where they can pay lower taxes and make more money. And you will end up with more unemployed people and less income. And when people are unemployed and have nothing to do, they will protest in the streets to take you down and replace you with someone who can provide them with jobs. So the only option that you're left with is to decrease the taxes on the rich people so that they stay in your country and keep building up more and more businesses and employ more people so that you can collect more taxes from the people who work for them to build up schools, roads and everything else and keep your people happy. And that's why rich people will always pay less taxes than the rest of us. Warren Buffett, for example, who is the second richest man in the world, pays less taxes than his secretary. My total taxes paid payroll taxes plus income tax. Uh, mine came to 17.7%. Uh, the average for the office was 32.9%. There wasn't anybody in the office from the receptionist on up that paid as low a tax rate. And I have no tax planning. I don't have an, uh, I don't have an, an accountant. I don't have tax shelters. I just follow what the U.S. Congress tells me to do. So how to pay less taxes? Simply move from being an employee to a business owner. But it's not as simple as it sounds. Building up a business takes years and a lot of money, which most people don't really have. 
So the good news is that you don't necessarily have to start a business yourself. You can invest in a well-established business and the income you will get out of it is taxed at a much lower rate, sometimes even zero, which I will talk about in a future video. So make sure you turn on your notifications. As long as you are an employee, you will be paying a lot of tax because that's how the economy is designed. And as your salary grows, your tax rate grows as well. Your tax rate can go up to more than 40%, almost half of your salary. What's the point of working so hard and making so much money and then paying half of it to the government at the end of the day? So when politicians are saying that we should increase the tax on the rich people, they're not really talking about the real rich people who make millions if not billions of dollars, but rather people who work super hard day and night to make salary of more than $150,000. These are the best doctors, engineers, and lawyers in the country. In fact, most of the taxes are paid by the top 10% of the people with high salaries, not the ones who are making their money out of investments and businesses. That's all for today. I will share with you some more insights regarding this topic in future videos. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if by any chance you want to see more similar videos, then help me to grow this channel by sharing this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.